Okay, unless you've been under a rock, you know that the iPhone 4S is now shipping and people are picking them up. I picked mine up on Friday, which was the first day that you could get one. And I just walked into the AT&T store here in Frederick and they had them in stock and I bought one. Uh, Apple must have built a ton of these things because the rumor is they've sold 4 million of them in the first weekend. That is unbelievable. So real quick, I'm going to dive right in. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a little bit of a cold. Hold this down. Okay, Siri, I want to see how well you work. Checking on that for you. Okay. How about a web search for okay, Siri, I want to see how well you work? No, that's okay. Thanks anyway. Okay. So you can see, I'm actually having a conversation with this phone. Okay, so we're going to do something else here. Search 1955 Packard Caribbean Convertible Photos. If you like, I can search the web for 1955 Packard Caribbean Convertible Photos. Yes. Searching the web for 1955 Packard Caribbean Convertible Photos. There we go. That's just how long it took us to get a picture of a Packard Caribbean convertible. All right, so let's try another search. Text Twitter. Now the other problem that I have run into a couple of times with Siri is it has trouble connecting to the server and my guess is that has to do with four million of these things sold. What do you want to say to Twitter? Okay. Update Twitter status using Siri. This is just a test. I updated your message. So you can see there can it says it? no. To continue, you can send, cancel, review, or change it. Okay, so I didn't say anything there because I didn't want to do anything here. So basically, this is uh, what I did was I set up Twitter in my contacts and put you can you can do a, a text message to update your Twitter status. So they're just a contact as far as Siri knows. So all I need to do is say text Twitter, and so basically I'm sending a text message to my Twitter account, which is a Twitter update. So in this case, I just said update Twitter status using Siri. This is a test, and of course it got it 100% correct. So I'm finding that this is accurate in most cases. Um, obviously, it's not 100% accurate. I've done things like said iPhone 4S, and it'll do F-O-R instead of the letter 4. So you know, there's some things you have to live with. But all in all, this is a game changer. The phone is absolutely fantastic. Do not pass go. Get one. If it's turned off, by the way, and this is um, working on iOS 5, any iOS 5, if I uh, double tap this, I can launch the camera just like that, okay? And then I can take the uh, photo with the volume up button here. So all in all, this thing is just unbelievable. Lightning fast. Um, anything I do on it is, is very fast. Surfing the web is fast. Um, it's just switch-like performance. Um, even accessing the internet is faster because it, it supports AT&T's faster standard. So those that have said that this is not a big upgrade and that you shouldn't upgrade to the iPhone 4S because it's not a big upgrade over the iPhone 4, they don't know what they're talking about. Absolutely, positively upgrade. Especially if you use Siri, you can only use Siri on the iPhone 4S for now. I'm hoping they roll it out to other devices later, but for now, it's only iPhone 4S available, available right now. Okay, so anyway, go ahead and upgrade, and you are going to love this device. Done deal. Oh, one last thing I want to show you. This is really cool. This was on a website, and somebody said that it couldn't have been true, but it is. 
Where can I hide a body? Usually comes back quicker than this. Again, I think it. I think Siri is really having some server overload issues right now because it's going up to the Apple servers to get the answer to the question, which it's going to go to Wolfram Alpha to get the actual answer, and so it's server side intensive, and with four million people playing around with Siri, which is what I'm doing, um, it probably can't handle the load. Uh, my guess is as people stop just playing with it and just use it as a normal tool then that pressure on the servers will will um, be released so let's stop this where can I hide a body what kind of place are you looking for reservoirs metal foundries dumps mines or swamps it's a, a swamp is a little ways from you. So there you go. It not only answered the question, you know, what kind of places do you want to hide your body, um, but it, it mapped out where the nearest swamp is. So really cool stuff you can do with Siri. Let me give one more example here. Where is New York City? Here's New York City. What is the population of New York? Coming right up. Okay, here you go. 8.175 million people. Okay, it added it to what I already had up. Okay. How do I get to New York? to New York City. So there we go. It's routed it out for me right there. So if people are, are telling me that this is not a game changer and that this is not useful, I don't know what they're thinking about. This is a total game changer. Imagine when we can voice command everything on our computers. There goes carpal tunnel syndrome away. Uh, people can be much more efficient. People that don't know how to spell properly as long as they can speak properly, uh, it's going to solve that problem. There's all kinds of, of ramifications of this. Apple is on the cutting edge here. Uh, Android has had similar services, but not anywhere near as, as easy to use and, and conversational as this, in my opinion. So don't pass go. Get yourself an iPhone 4S, and you will be amazed what you can do with it.